NUV is excited to announce that it has deployed 16 NUV power port charging stations for the Mount Diablo Unified School District in the San Francisco Bay Area. The charging infrastructure will help the school district operate new electric buses recently acquired through a Carl Moyer program. I am Michael Bakunin, Vice President of Strategic Accounts and Customer Experience at NUVI, and today I am heading to Concord in the East Bay to meet the project team in person and also discuss the school district's the bus electrification journey. So my name is Chris Lepe, I'm the Transportation Coordinator at Mount Diablo Unified School District, and I have my partner here, Charlie Bygarden, he is our construction manager that oversaw this huge uh, project for our district. And he did a great job with VPI, uh, RC Electric, and Nuve. All right, Chris, I know you are driving an electric vehicle yourself. I am guessing you championed this project for the school district. Is that right? I did. Um, I've been driving an electric vehicle since 2013, actually uh, October of 2012 and I've had three electric vehicles uh, still drive electric. So when I came to the school district, I thought that was something that uh, we could bring onto the school district as well. Uh, and there was a grant available for us to upgrade our vehicles at almost no cost and bring electric vehicles to our, our district. How many buses did you order in total? So our initial plan was to order 30 buses but as we kept going and, and, and planning, we got it down to 20 and then it, it ended up at 16. But our infrastructure is set for 20 buses. So we did future-proof our infrastructure to add four extra buses in the future, in the near future. How did you secure funding for this project? So the biggest driving force on this was bringing electric buses to our, our district and our students. But also there was a Bay Area Air Quality Management District uh, grant, the Carl Moyer grant, that I was made aware of. And I looked into that. Uh, so we were able to apply for that grant and, and gladly so that we, that we got funding for that. So it, it paid for our infrastructure as well as all 16 of our buses. And what types of buses uh, you have at this facility today? So we have the 10 Microbirds which is the Ford chassis with the Microbird body, and then also the Vision, which is the Bluebird. Uh, we have six of those. So it's the higher uh, capacity buses. And it requires the entire ecosystem to be ready to get to that level of deployment. Who were your partners in this project? So uh, VPI was one of our biggest partners, as well as uh, Bay Area Air Quality Management District, uh, and Nuve was our one of our bigger partners as well. The moment was right. When you arrived to the school district and you decided to go electric, there was like your old school buses were all aging and you had to replace them anyway, right? Correct. So I started December uh, 3rd, 2017. And my second week being on the job, California Highway Patrol was here inspecting our buses for our 292 inspections, certifications of our buses. And our inspector grabbed a yellow card and said, Chris, is this school bus yellow? So our buses were so old, they're about 20 years old, but they had faded from the sun. And me being new, I didn't know where we were gonna go with this. Do we have to paint all these new buses, right? And you're talking expensive to paint a school bus because you have to do the lettering, you have to do everything. Well, uh, I got word and said, hey, there's this grant that you can replace your old buses and, and they'll pay for it, which was the BACMED grant, Carl Moyer. And I said, well, why don't we turn these buses in uh, for new buses and we don't have to worry about painting them and it, the problem's taken care of. So it's like a two for one, right? You, you give the students a brand new bus, the drivers love them because everything works on it. The air conditioning is, is great. They're smooth, they're quiet, and they don't have to wait in line at, at the gas station to fill up, right? They just plug into their own charger. So they love that too. There was a little bit of apprehension at first, uh, just like anything new, right? Because it's the fear of the unknown. But once they drive the buses and they plug them into our new V chargers, 
they love them. They ask for them. They say, I want to drive an electric bus. I've only got 16. I, I, I'd love to give you more. In the future, we will. Excellent. Thank you, Grace. Jason Yon, project manager with DPI for the Mount Diablo Unified School District electric vehicle charger installation. So, Jason, projects like this, how long would it take to do the full infrastructure for a project like this with 16 electric buses? Usually for a project like this, we're looking at a couple weeks for installation to take place. Right. Any type of challenges you can remember in this project or in general? Um, for this project in particular, coming out of a COVID environment, material procurement was one of the most difficult things. And uh, particularly switch gear, getting the procurement of that switch gear on site. Typically, it usually just takes a couple of weeks. This time around, we are at between 18, 16 to 18 weeks, which was definitely difficult trying to meet the uh, school district's expectation of getting this project started before the kids come back to school. So the, base, the basic advice is start as early as you can, right? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Start procuring this switch gear as soon as possible for a project like this. And why did you choose uh, Nuvi and the Nuvi charging solutions for this project? Uh, because of the smart technology and the 19.2 kilowatts, um, that was the main reason why. Yeah, this is what we hear all the time from our customers because the like electric school buses battery packs are massive and if you want to be sure you can charge them overnight, you need much more power. So the power port we have from Nuvi allows this level of power. And I also know that the school districts want wants to avoid this like demand charges and peak hours. Absolutely. Yeah, and that's probably another reason for choosing the Nuvi solution. Absolutely. My name is Henry Butler. I work for RC Electric. I was the project manager on the project here. What was your overall experience of working with Nuvi on this project? That was fantastic. There was uh, so much communication back and forth between Nuvi, RC Electric. Uh, everything worked out really well. Any challenges in the installation or commissioning project or uh, for the process? Uh, no, no challenges. There was one charger that um, there was a Wi-Fi adapter that wasn't that need to be unplugged, I guess, and uh, no one was really aware of that. So <laughs> we, we got that solved uh, once Jonathan and um, I forgot, uh, Richard, Richard. Ca came out and uh, they, they just unplugged, uh, Richard unplugged it and, and that was, uh, it fixed all our issues. So <laughs> everything, everything went well. Excellent. Is there like any area where Nuvi can improve by, you know, helping and supporting RC Electric? Uh, Nuvi did a great job. Their communication was excellent. Um, I don't. I don't see. As soon as we had that issue, we called and you guys came out. So I don't, there's no no issues. Nothing to nothing to speed up. You guys are great. Excellent. Would you recommend working with Nuvi uh, for any partner? Or oh, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, Nuvi. I I can't say enough good things about you guys, man. You guys did great. <laughs> excellent. Yeah. Thank you.